Welcome in everybody, I am Das Tulip and I will be your nerd for this video. Today, we are going into Where's UK and I'm going to break down all of the class tasks that come with this game. So stay tuned, we're gonna kick it off right now. Okay, so let's start this off. First and foremost, I want you all to know that this is specific to Alpha 20.2 and the 7.0 Where's UK mod build. Um, each one of these uh, bigger chests are broken down into the five tasks that you're going to have with each of these classes. And then the smaller storage chests uh, hold the goodies that you get upon completion. So let's uh, let's start on the left and get into Bruiser. Uh, first one, build a club. Easy, right off the bat, you could do this with five wood. You're done with task one. The second task, which is going to be a little bit harder, uh, is the steel knuckles. You're gonna need five steel knuckle parts, the leather, duct tape, steel, and most importantly, the schematic to build it. Depending on loot stage and where you're at in the game, that might take some time to get. Same with the machete, the steel machete. So you're gonna need the five steel machete parts, wood, leather, duct tape, steel, and the, the machete schematic. Uh, next, and number four, which probably should be number two based on you know gameplay, but regardless, all good um is the iron sledgehammer uh you're gonna need wood leather duct tape iron and then either a the iron uh, sledgehammer schematic or b you can unlock um uh, skull crushers one and that will get you to where you need to be then lastly uh, we have the steel sledgehammer uh, five steel sledge uh, parts ten wood three leather three duct tape ten steel and again, the schematic for it. Now, what you get by completing this uh, are basically all of the goodies that you just made, but at level six. So you get the steel sledge, the iron sledge, the steel nux, and you get an HD machete, which some of the HD stuff is choice. Uh, you also get a class bruiser uh, vending machine. So let, let's just take that out and put it over in our other room and I'll be able to show you what exactly you can get from the vending machine. All kinds of parts and tools, anything you need. Uh, it refreshes every day. Um, so there's a lot of goodies, especially if you're doing base upgrades, you can get steel in here, you can get iron, um, a lot of good stuff. So with that, Let's, uh, let's head over and we will take a look at our next class. All right, so next one up is Builder. Uh, five tasks again. This one gets a little bit more hairy. Um, first task is to build the HD mini hatchet. Now, what you're going to need for that is iron, duct tape, leather, wood, and boom. You got to take care of. Now, just use it once, repair it, and task one complete. The second and third tasks are about, all about gathering materials. You're gonna need 3,000 each of wood, clay, and stone. Pass two, done. Pass three, 3,000 iron, 3,000 raw iron, 20 forged iron, 10 duct tape, 10 leather. You're already over halfway done. Step four is making 50 frames, then placing those frames, and then upgrading those frames. So all together, in order to make and upgrade them, it's 500 wood. Uh, then step five, that's where the fun starts. So the first one is to make an HD auger. Now, in order to do that, you are going to need the auger schematic, which can be a little finicky to find out in the wild. So you're going to need that. And then you're going to need uh, motor tool parts, bicycle handles, which if you don't find them out in, in the wastelands or wherever you're at, uh, you need uh, two duct tape, two leather, one mechanical part, six pipes, and two springs in order to make those. Um, once you have the handlebars, you just need an engine, 35 uh, steel, and then boom, you have your regular auger. Now, once you have that, you're then going to need 10 more mechanical parts, 10 oil, 10 repair kits, and 10 iron in order to make the HD auger. Uh, once you have that built, you need to repair it, and then you move on to the second part of uh, task number five, which is to build the HD chainsaw. 
same kind of situation as before. You're gonna need that chainsaw schematic and it's all the same amount of parts in order to build the chainsaw. Once you have the chainsaw, it's the same amount of parts to build the HD chainsaw. You repair that and you are golden. It is done. Now, remember, the higher you are in Miner 69er, the higher those augers and chainsaws are gonna be. The HD versions of these are already so much better than the re regular versions that, the I mean, just try to get that uh, stage up a little bit higher and you're gonna be looking good. Now, rewards. You are gonna get 10,000 cobblestone, 10,000 cement, and 500 steel, as well as the builder bending machine. So let's go take a gander at what that is. More parts, more steel, more cement, more more of everything. You got landmines, um, more of everything you need to upgrade your base. These two, first two vending machines are very important to get you where you want to go. Now, we'll move on to one of my favorite cook. If we can go ahead and take a look at the cook class and the five tasks that you're going to have in this one. In this one, you actually have to make two meals per task. So the breakdown is as such. Uh, the first one you're going to be making is a bafana. Bifana, bifana, bafana. It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. It's going to be lovely. Uh, animal fat, raw meat, sham sandwiches, and beer. Um, a really good source for sa sham sandwiches in Where's UK? Toasters. Go, gra go grab some sandwiches out of the toaster you'll be good to go that you'll you'll get 10 of them in no time the second one we're making is some yakitori uh we got animal fat raw meat cornmeal and chili to complete that one so that task one down next we're making some borscht you're gonna need raw meat some stock potatoes and mushrooms it's gonna be you're gonna put it in a crock pot low and slow it's gonna be fantastic uh, next, uh, in the morning, you're going to make yourself some Frito and eggs, animal fat, cornmeal, eggs, done. So that's two of the five complete. Uh, at the start of task three, you're going to make some beef steak and fries with just some raw meat, potatoes, and animal fat. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. For our uh, dessert course, uh, we're going to have some pavlova, which is going to be uh, five cans of pears, cornmeal, honey, and eggs. That's three out of five down. Now, first is the chili burrito, which you're gonna use chili, raw meat, and cornmeal uh, to complete that. Uh, and then you're going to make some uh, some baby back spare ribs. And uh, you're gonna use raw meat, chili, and animal fat to complete that. On to task five. You're gonna make the Facts Foxes Fur Burger. Now for this, you are going to need lamb cut, the, the, the lamb rations. You're gonna need animal fat, more sham sandwiches, and raw meat. And then to finish it all out, we got some food bar stew. You're gonna need 10 cans of sham, 10 cans of soup stock, 10 cans of tuna, and 25 bone to complete that. Now, a little tip. If you are able to, which is a lot more difficult with the introduction of Alpha 20, but if you are able to, to find either the underground trader or the uh, the red building trader, the, the either one of those traders have four traders within them, getting the food that you're going to need, especially the canned food that you're gonna need to complete this task is gonna be a heck of a lot easier. So just a helpful tip, hopefully that helps out along the way. Now. With that being complete, let's take a look at the rewards. Probably one of my favorite rewards. You, got a, you get a nice warm chunky steak and potato. You get a nice warm chunky hobo stew. But here, the HD Meat Hammer, quite possibly one of the best melee weapons in Where's UK. You also have the HD Meat Cleaver, which is great for chopping up anything you need. This is also where you start getting into the HD hazmat uh, schematics uh, because there are radiated areas within Where's UK, which unless you are wearing a full set of hazmat, which are basically just add-ons to your armor, you're gonna die real quick in there. 
Uh, and then last but not least, you get the uh, the Class Cook vending machine, which we will go and view right now as I waddle my way into the room. And we'll plop that bad boy down, and in it is all the food you need. You will never starve again. Yeah, so that is the cooking class. And next up, we are going to go into engineer. Okay, let's go ahead and break into this box. Now, keep in mind there's a lot in here, so don't freak out when you see it. Yeah, uh, the first task in engineering is to gather up materials. You're gonna need electrical parts, mechanical parts, polymers, duct tape, leather, and oil. Now, keep in mind that a lot of these materials you're going to be able to use in the following tasks, so you don't have to run around and get a, a bunch of additional stuff on top of what we have here. Um, the second task on this is going to be to craft and place a generator bank. Now, in order to do that, you're gonna have to level up your advanced engineering to level three. So keep that in mind as you're going through your skill tree. Uh, you're gonna need iron, mechanical parts, and electrical parts, and boom, you got that taken care of. Step three is to make and place a battery bank. Uh, now you're gonna need the battery bank schematic first off, uh, and then iron, electrical parts, and polymers, and boom, you're done, all right? Step four, four, uh, is to make an electrical relay, um, which is iron and electrical parts, super simple. Um, and then you're also gonna need to make a wire tool, um, which that is uh, forged steel and mechanical parts. Um, once those are complete, step five is where it gets a little crazy, uh, which you can kind of see here. So step five, you need to first off, uh, craft an HD generator. In order to do that, you're gonna need 100 forged steel, forged iron, uh, electrical parts, mechanical parts, polymers, and oil. That's the easy part. The next uh, half of uh, the task five is to create six HD cells. Now, in order to do this, you are going to need 24 batteries in order to complete this, this task. So you better start wrenching some cars. Uh, on top of that, you're also going to need steel, duct tape, oil, and polymers. Now, if you do get lucky and find a bunch of acid out in the world, you can make your own batteries, but it takes 180 lead, four acid, and six polymer to make one battery. So just start wrenching. Put up your, your uh, skills to get more stuff out of your, your vehicles and uh, start wrenching to get um, get these batteries taken care of. Now, once you have all of this taken care of, there's some pretty decent rewards you get. You get 20 breaching C4s. You get 20 HD ground mines. You get five HD blade traps. You get five HD dart traps. We continue on our, our hazmat course with the mask schematic. And then you also get the engineer vending machine. So let's go place this bad boy down and uh, show you what you get out of it. More building materials. You got all your cement, your concrete, um, different uh, electrical things, blade traps, some mods in here, Cri cripple a mod, bipod mod, excellent. Um, so that is what you get from the vending machine for engineer. So back on over here and next up, we're gonna take a look at farmer. So let's get into it. The very first thing you're going to need to do is go around and gather up uh, 80 wood, 200 rotted meat, uh, 500 nitrate, and 2,000 clay. Uh, that's task one. Done. For tasks two and three, you're going to need to go around and collect goldenrod, chrysanthemum, corn, potatoes, blueberries, and coffee beans. 20 of each and then you're, you're done. With task four, you're going to take all those materials you gathered in task one and create 20 farm plots. Place them down, get them ready. And then for task five, you're gonna plant four blueberries, four coffee, three goldenrod, three chrysanthemum, three corn, and three potato. Now, once that's completed, you are gonna get the best shotgun in the game. The HD Spaz 12. It, uh, it, the stopping power is fantastic. It's actually my go-to 
uh, shotgun uh, in this game. Uh, you're, we're going to continue with the has, with the glove schematic, and then you are going to get the farmer vending machine. Uh, you're going to get all of your food recipes uh, from this bad boy. Just all the stuff from vanilla Seven Days to Die. Um, so that uh, that takes care of that one. And we will go on to Gunman. A lot of changes in this one over the last few uh, few months. Um, so we'll get into that. Okay, so with this one, we have seen this particular task change three times since uh, Alpha 20 came out. In Alpha 19, you had to go in and create an HD gun for each of the different classes. Machine gun, pistol, shotgun, and sniper rifle. And then you had to kill so many zombies with, with, that, with that weapon. You also had to kill like 100 animals. With Alpha 20 coming out, uh, it was changed to where you just had to kill animals and then each class, task two through five, were killing like 100 zombies each. And that was it. With 20.2 coming out, or the latest updates with Where's UK coming out, it's actually changed uh, for the better. Uh, it is uh, just making guns. Now, in order to make these HD guns, you will need to craft uh, an HD gun bench. Uh, you're going to need iron, mechanical parts, polymer, and springs to complete that. And then on top of that, you're also going to have to, kind of like the other different workbenches and stuff like that, you're going to have to put in CNC machines. Uh, for e for handguns, for automatics, and for rifles. So in order to do that, you're going to need 60 iron, uh, 60 mechanic parts, and 60 springs to complete all three. It's 20 each for those. Now, once you have that all set up, uh, task one is to create the Colt M1911. Uh, you're going to need 50 iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, polymers, and springs to complete that one. So that's task number one. Task two is to uh, make the HD Desert Eagle Punisher. You're gonna need 100 forged steel, plus mechanical parts, duct tape, polymer, springs. Done, okay? And then we move on to the Mossberg 500 for task number three. You're gonna need iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, polymer, springs. You're seeing a pattern here. Once that's completed, you're gonna make the HD M4A1 carbine. Again, iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, polymer, springs. Done. The last task is to make the HD M1 Durand. You're going to need steel, iron, mechanical parts, wood, and springs. Uh, and then that task is complete. The rewards you get from that are the Shaytac M300 HD level 6. You're going to get an 8 times scope. You're going to get 500 408 millimeters uh, uh, ammo. You're going to get the schematic for the hazmat jacket. And then you're going to get the gunman vending machine. So let's go place this down and we'll take a look and see what you get from this bad boy. So from this bad boy, you get different armors, ammos, parts, completed weapons they're not normally going to be very high tier in here but if you need to upgrade this is a good place to go um, military fibers if you want to make your own armor so on and so forth so not not too shabby not too shabby at all okay let us go on to mechanic all right the mechanic tasks are another very build heavy task list so let's break into this box and the first task you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to have to go around and gather 50 springs. You're gonna need uh, 250 uh, forged steel, 100 oil, 500 forged iron, 100 duct tape, and 200 leather. Which if you killed a bunch of animals, you probably got that, you know, in spades. From there, task number two is to build a bicycle. Uh, the first part is to get the handlebars and the chassis done. You're going to need to have Grease Monkey 1 in order to build the bicycle unless you have the schematics for both the handlebars and the chassis. So for those two pieces, you're going to need the iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, springs, and pipes. And once you have those, you add two wheels to it, a little more mechanical parts, and you have your bike. Uh, from there, you're going to need to move on to the mini bike. Uh, the mini bike for the handlebars and the chassis, you're going to need iron, uh, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, electrical parts, springs, a headlight, and pipes. Once you have that, you add two wheels to it, 
an engine and a battery and boom you're done uh for task number four you're going to be making a motorcycle which you are going to need to go up to grease monkey three to do you're also going to need to go up to intellect six in order to unlock grease monkey three um so again the first step is the chassis and the handlebars you're going to need 30 steel mechanical parts duct tape leather electrical parts and a headlight from there you got your two wheels engine and battery and you're done the last piece is to build the 4x4. Now you're going to need to go Intellect 8 to get Grease Monkey 4 in order to do this one. Uh, in order to make the accessories and the chassis, you're going to need 250 steel, electrical parts, duct tape, leather, uh, mechanical parts, and eight headlights because we're going to blind some people, uh, some pipes and springs. Uh, from there, four tires, an engine, a battery, and you're good to go. Now. You are able to make your own tires if you are, you know, so inclined. The biggest thing with that, again, is acid. Acid is so rare in this game. For each wheel, it's two forged iron, 16 polymer, two oil, 10 coal, and one acid. Uh, if you have those materials and you're able to build wheels, that that should work good for you. But from using the, the previous um, engineer tasks, you should have plenty of wheels from all those cars that you wrenched. So you should be good on that. Now, uh, after that, let's see what uh, kind of rewards we get. We get ourselves an HD Where's UK 4x4 vehicle. Normally, I'm going to say any HD anything in the game is going to be better than vanilla 7 Days to Die things. Weapons, cars, anything like that. So... Let's place down uh, our vending machine and see what we have in here. A gyroscopper schematic, um, tools out the out the wazoo, nail guns. Uh, there's more forged steel in here. There's a lot of tools, uh, crucible schematic, an actual crucible. All the things you need to continue to advance in the game uh, from that aspect. And we're going to come back and talk about medic. All right, before we get into medic. If you've made it this far in the video, first off, thank you very much. This is my first YouTube video, and I sincerely appreciate it. I'm, I'm hoping to have more Seven Days to Die content in the future, especially with Where's UK, because I love this mod. Um, now, Medic. I don't know why I said it that weird, but let's get into it. Um, so we're making a bunch of uh, medical supplies. Go figure. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is craft five splints. You're going to use duct tape, wood, and cloth in order to take care of that. Um, once you have that done, uh, task two is to create uh, five bandages using cloth again. And uh, from there, you're going to also make first aid bandages, which is cloth and aloe cream. Next, you are going to need to make some plaster casts. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to need physician one. No big deal. So you take sand, cornmeal, uh, cloth, and murky water, and that makes the cast for you. Task number four. Luckily, since you were going up in Grease Monkey uh, to take care of the mechanic tasks, you're already at an Elect 8. You just need to get up to Physician 3 in order to make first aid kits. Uh, you're going to need blood bags, grain alcohol, uh, five bandages, and five sewing kits. And you're going to need to make five of those. Um, so no big deal there. And then finally, Task 5 is to take those five... Uh, first aid kits and make HD first first aid kits uh, using blood blood bags and uh, additional grain alcohol. Once you have that done, you are going to get rewarded with two of each of the HD injections for the diseases that you get in the world today. The most useful of which is going to be the bird flu because I swear every vulture I come across gives me the bird flu. Um, you're also going to complete the set for your hazmat with the hazmat pants uh, schematic. And then finally, you're going to get the medic vending machine, which you guessed it is probably going to contain medical supplies. Uh, you also have uh, cigars, uh, different uh, steroids injections, recog, grandpa's learning elixir. Um, so um, all, all of the uh, different uh, supplies you're going to need for... Uh, Keeping yourself healthy. Uh, the 
the last two tasks, and we're going to create ourselves a hazmat suit. So that should be fun. All right, so for the rad add-ons, the, the first thing you're going to need to do is collect a lot of materials, okay? And that is in order to make all of these HD hazmat fiber. Now, I would suggest that you get yourself a lovely Weed Whacker 5000 because that thing is fantastic at mowing down the grass around your base or wherever you go in order to complete this task. Now, in order to complete this, um, you're going to need to make 200 HD hazmat fibers. For each one that you craft, you get 20 fibers, okay? So in total, to create that 200 hazmat fibers, you're gonna need 2,500 plant fibers, 2,500 scrap polymers. So as you're going through the houses early game, make sure that you're going through those cardboard boxes and collecting as many polymers as you can from that. You're gonna need 200 duct tape, which you'll be able to get from a lot of the vending machines that we've seen so far, and 40 acid. That'll get you all of the fiber, the hazmat fibers that you're going to need. From there, you're gonna need an additional 250 polymer, five sewing kits, and 20 duct tape for each of the uh, pieces of the hazmat suit. And that will get you the mask, the jacket, the pants, the boots, and the gloves. Now, as I said before, these are all add-ons that you can put on your armor in order to keep you so yourself safe in those red areas. Now, with this task complete, the reward that you get is nothing. You get to stay alive in those red zones. That is your reward. And there are some pretty decent rewards that you can get from those red zones if you're able to get through them and complete them. Um, so you don't get anything for it except your life. Last is the psychopath. This is a new one that has been added just recently. And I believe it kind of takes over for um, when Alpha 20 came out, uh, you know how I was saying that gunmen, you just had to go around and kill things. But now you can do that with Psychopath. Um, so with Psychopath, you need to kill 100 animals. And then each task after that is 10 zombies each. Now I'm guessing this will probably change in the future. So we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, the reward that you get for this is an HD double barrel shotgun, which will be a level six. You get 500 AP slugs and you get a vending machine. Now, unfortunately, when I finished this task, I had a full inventory. So the vending machine did not go into my inventory. So if any of you get this task completed, let me know what is in that vending machine. And I will let you know if I beat you to it in one of my other Where's UK builds. So that completes all of the Where's UK tasks that you need to do to get yourself through the game. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right. Take care. We'll see you.